if you had to bet, let's say $100,000 on any creator right now in the landscape that's on the come up, who are you seeing that's just absolutely crushing it right now from your perspective? I don't really follow the creator scene. Like I actually looked at VidCon. VidCon's like the big thing they do once a year. And the first mm -hmm. seven years I got invited to VidCon, or a year from two to seven, two to eight, I was invited every year. So I was like, who's going to be at VidCon this summer? And I looked them up, like all the creators. And I was like, I don't know any of these creators. Um, it's like, it's a different ecosystem. And for me, I, I don't really follow that scene. Like there's only a few YouTubers that I actually like follow, but I'm not like, really like diving into like people like Peter McKinnon I love um Corridor Digital like those are the YouTubers that kind of look to and, and watch like these days but I'm not really aware of like the upcoming scene I'm just kind of living in my own world in my own bubble I'm just kind of creating things I'm excited about but even though I create content on YouTube I don't watch a ton of YouTube um and there's another guy Arlo who I just love he's another YouTuber he just talks about Nintendo stuff but he's with a puppet um so it's just like really fun and entertaining just like a good um, family-friendly content. That's awesome. Cool. And 